Hey everyone, and welcome to this guide on removing all your styling with a single line of CSS. Now you're probably wondering, how does that even work? Well, luckily there is a single CSS property that can remove all your styling, and it can be a silver bullet into solving some tricky situations you may come into in the future. Now, there are just two properties that this doesn't work with and that is the direction and the Unicode uh, BD properties that control text direction. And that's mostly due to, I think that's like a core text property that they don't really want that to be messed with. So for example, if you're translating a site into Arabic and it needs to be right to left or left to right, then it's, it's trying to protect those types of properties and it wants you to explicitly say, no, we want to change the direction of the text. Other than that, it changes the uh, CSS for you. So if we take a look here at this example, we have a generic button and you can see that it's got a border, it's got a background, it's even got some font styling and some color. Now that is inherited from the browser. It's uh, inherited from the operating system and it's inherited from the device itself. So all three of those things have their own web rendering engine. So they have separate ways on how to render your website, the fonts, the colors, everything. Now, if you can imagine those three things, they also come with their own set of styling for each HTML element that you have. Now, what this property does is that resets it and it removes and strips out all those inherited styles. So we'll give you an example. We've got this generic button here and if we use the all property and we simply say unset, it strips all the border, all the background color and the font styling out, which is inherited from the uh, style sheet for this browser, which just happens to be brave. Now unset isn't the only uh, property that all has. So it has inherit, it has initial and it has unset. Now unset is the art of removing all of the styling but there are options to actually inherit styles and actually use styles from different places. So, so what initial does is it says, we're going to strip out all the styles, but only use the styles uh, defined in the official CSS spec. So those are the default styles you get from them. And inherit is basically saying, we're going to remove all the styles and only use the parent element styles that you uh, inherit. And that can also include styles that are not normally inheritable. So what unset does is it basically removes all passed down values to that element, all the inherited styling. If no other styling is available, it uses the styling from the CSS spec. Now there are some other interesting things we can do. So if we go here and we remove all these properties and we decide let's add a border of red. Well, then we get this uh, really bright red border around the button. And then if we decide we're going to unset that and remove all the styling on the button, you basically get this very generic button that's just text. But we still have border styling on there. But let's say we wanted to just remove all the other styling. So what we can see is all the styling from beforehand is basically removed. So everything after that declaration then gets counted for. And then you can start building that up again and you have a new set of styling for this element. And it's really good for component level styling. So if you ever come across a tricky issue, if uh, styling is, is being injected from a third party source, or you just don't, you can't identify the source of the styling, this property can come in very handy. Now there are some caveats. So although this could potentially be very handy in a super tricky situation, we do have to look at its browser support because that does pose some interesting questions. So if we have a look at the browser support across the board, Edge, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, etc., they all support it. But the only place that doesn't support it, surprise, surprise, is Internet Explorer 11. Now there's two ways to see this and it's, it's how we see things in CSS in general. It's if something breaks on Internet Explorer 11, but it's still functional, so in the sense that if you have a button and its styling is removed but the button is still functional 
in Internet Explorer 11 and it still looks like a button, then it isn't really considered broken because Internet Explorer 11, especially with the news that's come out recently that it's going to be sunsetted and basically deleted from the internet and Microsoft's not going to support it anymore by the end of this year and completely by the end of 2021, we need to start changing our mindset with how we interpret whether something can work in Internet Explorer 11 or not. And I would argue that this is something that you could decide that because it's to do with styling, that it's not a huge problem. It's nothing to do with layout, unless you are doing something to do with layout, uh, then you may have to reconsider. But if you are just styling an element or a button, then that's absolutely fine, in my opinion, if it doesn't work in IE 11 it doesn't look exactly the same because what that is is that is um that is uh, obviously an acceptable loss of uh user experience and that's due to obviously the age of internet explorer 11 and its low user base now um i think it's like 5.6 percent of uh, windows users uh use internet explorer i'd actually like to meet someone who uses internet explorer and ask them what they're doing and you know if they're using it at work just don't just like raise your standards i don't know but uh <laughs> that's all all is considered a shorthand property because it allows us to control the values of every css property and it's super powerful so like I said earlier, it is very uh, niche. So like I said earlier, it can be very useful in the right circumstances. It's not something you should use all the time for definite. Um, this is something that you use very sparingly and it's the right tool for the right job when the right job comes along or the right problem comes along. So that is the all property. You now have a new tool in your tool belt that could be very useful potentially in the future hopefully that helped uh, do like and subscribe and i've been harry and this has been curious bike